My name is Vu Doan. I am from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, grew up in a very conservative Vietnamese Buddhist household. So, you know, had uh, girlfriends and um, was very much focused on school as a kid. And um, in 20, 2006, I moved to Austin, which was exciting because moving from a place where, you know, I was really active in the, the youth group um, and kind of building this very, cons again, conservative uh, uh, Buddhist uh, youth association to a city where I didn't know anybody, I can kind of reset and start my, my, my new life. But when I realized that when I moved here um, to Austin, I kind of fell into the same constructs of being really active at the youth group, um, being really um, um, engaged with my coworkers who are all straight, and dating girls again. So even though it was in a new city, it ended up being kind of the same, just like, it's like a second verse, same song. One day at work, a coworker came up to me and mentioned this concept of a competitive national karaoke league. At first I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna go to that. It feels kind of out, out there. Um, so I said no for the several times she asked me to come and join. And then finally we were having lunch at, uh, at work. And for some reason, I just said, yeah, I'll, I'll come. She, she, she offered off the invite. Um, and so, just okay, meet me at Ego's at, at 6.30. So Ego's is this dive bar on South Congress here in Austin, and it's notorious for karaoke, um, good karaoke. Like, people who sing really well in the, in, a, in the music capital here in Austin, they go there to practice. So I'm, I'm, I, I get to Ego's, and I'm about to walk in. And keep in mind, I work with this coworker in a very conservative tech company. And so when I opened that door at Ego's, um, just the cacophony of sound and excitement of everyone preparing for their numbers, putting on costumes, making props, having drinks, laughing, warming up singing, um, was such a, a, a contrast from the world that I knew her from and the world that I, I was comfortable here in Austin. And right away, they were so nice on like, you know, opening their arms and welcoming me in and introducing me to their friends. The first night, was amazing just seeing them pour their hearts out and singing on stage i loved it even though i didn't know anybody here everyone was really quick to come up and say hi say, like, greet me introduce me to their friends and kind of fold me into 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 this community and so my coworker was like do you want to join we have an open spot because someone quit and i was like oh well i didn't think about joy i thought about just gonna be a spectator for this show and i said okay well maybe when do we when do, I, when do you need me and she said in a week so then fast forward to next thursday and i'm going to sing a song and it was a big jump from being a spectator to actually singing a solo for the first time in public in front of people who are all the good singers the way it works is every team does two solos in a group number and i was um the first solo for my team when it was my turn the the kj calls up um, now, black team represented by Vu singing Take On Me by AHA. So I go on stage, the music starts, and I'm completely nervous. My hands are sweaty. I'm holding on to the microphone. Like I feel like it's slipping out of my hand. And I just start, I close my eyes. I came and look at the audience. As I'm singing, um, I don't hear any boos. So I'm like, I start opening my eyes a little more. And all I see are just all these faces just smiling and like rooting for me. The song keeps building and in the chorus, you hit this very high note. And I remember I was nervous about the note, but then I hit it um, and the crowd just erupted in cheers and clapping. I don't remember the rest of the, day, the song, but I do remember I did like a, a little dance break with my co, some of my team members come up and we did a little dance break in the middle. And then we ended the song and the, again, the whole like, Bar was just thunderous. Coming off the stage, the team, my team, obviously was there to hug me and congratulate me, because um, they knew how, my, how how nervous I was for it. Um, but then even the other team members, our competitors, also like, you know, came up to me and hugged me, and they were like, "Oh my God, you're, you're amazing! Like, who are you? You've never seen you before. You're, you're, you must be new here." And as the night the night ended, and I think everyone celebrated the highlight of the night. And I, but I don't think anyone there knew how much it meant to me, because it really sparked kind of an internal discovery of what I needed to start my own journey of self of like self-love and the confidence to kind of live my authentic lives as well. Even though it wasn't necessarily a, a gay uh, inter a intramural activity, um, it really was the catalyst for me and my coming out. You know, within the year, I had the courage, I found the courage to come out to my friends 
And then within the next year after that, I came out at work. And then three years, I finally came out to my family. We all deal with coming out differently. Um, but what we all need anchored in is um, both confidence and self-love for that to go, to, go, to go well. And so now, fast forward, I've been in Austin for 17 years. And, and I look for opportunities to help others build community and find the connections I had. And so you know, now I, I'm really active in the Austin Gay Men's Chorus. Um, which is our, our our mission is to help you know change minds, um, build community, um, and so in doing so, I, I've, I've been part of that community for three years, um, and the stories I've heard from my fellow singers and what the chorus means to them reflects so much on what I went through um, early on in my own career. I didn't go into karaoke thinking I was going to find a community or find the courage I needed. Um, I'm so thankful I did. Because when you find that, that right fit, the community becomes more than just a group of common interests or a group of friends. They really become a chosen family. Mm -hmm.